it's a meaningful brand with with a lot of thought and a lot of effort and, and dedication and it represents greatness and in, in, in terms of uh, you know what we do with the brand what I did initially to start the brand and and just our total commitment to try to build the best products Twenty three, best basketball player ever. Air Jordan's um, leadership in design. And I am the, I guess, primary designer of record on the Jordan 23. It's just an absolute honor to get to work with Michael Jordan and be creative with him and for him and, uh, and to contribute to such a, such a great um, organization like Brand Jordan. Jump man. Michael, Air Jordans, performance, performance, performance. As creative director of uh, special projects, is basically to envision any project that comes down the pike that uh, doesn't fit in a normal category. I love my job because it's the best job in the world. The 23 improves performance because it is lighter and more comfortable. And actually fits better than any Jordan we've ever made. In 23 years, this, people will say this shoe's a classic. I believe people will say that this is one of their favorite Air Jordans. Heritage, history and meaning. From a, a band product all the way to a, a, a status symbol. People collect Air Jordans in my opinion, because they uh, reflect Michael Jordan's personality and sensibilities in his game. A continuation of a long and successful line of products that people, some people have great affinity for and, and that we, we need to respect that and continue that great tradition. People acquiring them to perform, but also to uh, define themselves. When I was working on the three, um, there was no way I ever probably uh, even it even entered my mind that I'd be, uh, you know, 20 years later still be working on Air Jordan products. But they really culminate in a in a product that's the you know highest performing product there is for that sport. Much like MJ himself. There are lots of lots of people now buying Jordan products that have never seen Michael play basketball. That's great. I mean, now you can you're, we're set up to go go forever. Design is like trying to put it together, put all things together in a beautiful performance package. There's a great sort of barnstorming tour of the great cities of Europe. The more serious and more, um, uh, I think, aggressive part of designing the 23 occurred during that trip, where Mark Smith and I, we, were, we would tag along behind Michael and kind of watch what he was buying, where he was shopping, what he was doing. We found some really beautiful uh, handmade uh, products in, in Milan. I, I've never been to Berlin before and, and uh, there was uh, there was sort of an Argyle type pattern printed on a door and it was really done in a beautiful way and we're real inspired by uh, the beautiful work of uh, Antoni Gaudi, uh, the architect, uh, the, the famous Spanish architect. And I think that maybe gave us some inspiration to uh, look at the uh, basketball shoe, the Air Jordan 23, as a, as a simple product and a beautiful product and a performance product, but also one with some intricate detailing. Uh, I always start with MJ himself and find out what, uh, what were the cues. So we really wanted to um, incorporate his, thing, his fingerprints, uh, I think they're actually his thumbprints, in you know, on the bottom as well. We wanted to functionally hold the shoe together in a way that hadn't been done before, and so one of the opportunities to do that was in a print, what I call functional print, which was his uh, uh, the M's and J's. As we put this product together, we said it, it absolutely has to be a great performing basketball shoe for the kind of player that we're trying to satisfy the needs of. It absolutely um, has to be a beautiful, lovable product. People have to really want to, I mean, lust after it. It has to be gorgeous. Uh, and then the third thing is then is, is again, kind of going back to this, it shouldn't pollute. It should 
produce less waste and we should, we should not use harmful chemicals when we make this shoe. MJ is always, uh, always uh, deeply involved in the process. He has a, a good sense of, of where to go next and uh, so we, we again take advantage of that. Performance is uh, being better than the other person. Uh, the 23 is the best performing basketball shoe um, ever because it's the culmination of all the up-to-date latest technologies and capabilities. The Jordan 23 is actually shaped a lot more like a, like a track spike than a basketball shoe. I think that's a major story here that we've actually created a shoe that actually is shaped better. It's shaped more like your foot. The Jordan 14 um, actually had these uh, fingers that sort of wrapped up from the midsole, and I, I just thought, well, let's do uh, let's do a let's do kind of a, a finger or some sort of a form that comes up and wraps you know wraps around your foot a little bit, like the 14, but let's do it an even cleaner, simpler, and more beautiful way. And so it we turned into one finger. That finger became a little more geometric, um, and it was made out of a whole new material that allowed us allowed us to sort of paint. Um, through a, on the backside of a clear material. So one of the things that we work on is, uh, is always trying to um, create a stable platform and try and figure out how to protect an athlete from the, the, the pounding of playing a sport like basketball. And so we've advanced this sort of independent podular suspension to the point where we've actually been able to lower the sort of the overall thickness of the midsole. And then lastly, this shoe is largely stitched together. Um, we think that that actually improves the structure of the shoe, uh, holds all the layers of materials together without using glue, um, and allows the whole thing to actually probably not only be the right shape, but to actually move with your foot a little bit better. If I were a Team Jordan athlete, um, I'd be excited about wearing this new shoe because I think it's, it's gonna play great. Craftsmanship, I think, is one of the big stories here. We knew going into this product that uh, quality craftsmanship was going to be one of the key details. And so the 23 is actually all about the details. It's all about how beautifully put together the shoe is and how well crafted it is. We knew that it was going to take more effort, time, and focus on craftsmanship. We were inspired by um, uh, a particular brand of shoes in, in, um, in Italy and in, and in France. It turns out that we need uh, more people in order to accomplish that. Once you start stitching things together and handcrafting them, maybe you don't need so much glue and maybe you don't need so much, uh, you know, uh, chemi so many chemicals and so much heat and pressure to make the shoe work. It's actually hand, they're more handmade. So I think that comes through, and it did take many, many more people to produce these shoes, and we're very proud of that, actually. Uh, if you're going to talk to, to anyone about uh, what's different about the Air Jordan 23 is the fact that uh, more people have taken more time to make each and every shoe than probably any shoe in the history of basketball. <laughs>